We cannot see the Dham or the deity with our eyes. We can only actually see or taste prasad according to our surrender. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said, don't try to see Krishna. Try to serve Krishna in such a way that he's happy to see you. And that same principle is there when we take prasad. I know it's difficult because sometimes we're really hungry and sometimes we don't like something and sometimes we really like something and we want more and more and more. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the state of consciousness, the reason why we chant this prayer, Sarira Avidya Jao, Mahaprasadi Govinde, we put ourselves in a state of consciousness, Prasad Seva. This Prasad is Krishna's mercy. Krishna's mercy is Krishna. We're not meant to eat Prasad, we're meant to serve Prasad. Now, what kind of service by putting it in your mouth and chewing on it and then swallowing it and then knowing that it's eventually... <laughs> How is that seva? The seva is our consciousness. The consciousness in which we eat it, in which we digest it. We're honoring Krishna's mercy. We're grateful. This is an inseparable aspect of seva, is having a grateful heart. We're grateful for the opportunity to serve a Vaishnav. Grateful for the opportunity to serve the deity. Grateful for the opportunity to chant the holy names. It may have taken us hundreds of millions of births to achieve the opportunity to render service. Knowing that prasad is Krishna's mercy, Krishna's love is within the food that's offered to him. When we eat it with a grateful heart, that is prasad seva. I don't deserve this. If we think we deserve something, we cannot really be in a humble state of gratitude. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on thesacredconnect.com.